Welcome to Gazroth Tutorials. I'm Gazroth, and today we're going to cover events. We're going to go over sending events to self and to other objects, receiving events from ourself and from other objects, uh, sending events with the delay, connecting to objects to get their events, and listening to an object to get all of their events. Before we get started on scripting this, I want to go over what I have in the world. So we're going to go into build mode. I have three setups here. Each setup has a trigger, a cube to let me know where the trigger is. Each one has a script, and two of them have sound recorders to hold their scripts. All of these triggers are set for player enter. The only difference between these three is this trigger will hold the script of send receive self. This sound recorder gizmo holds the connect send other script. And this sound recorder holds the listen script. All right, so let's start off with the sending events to self. We're going to open up our script. Since this script is already attached to the trigger, it's listening to all of the events for trigger. And since the trigger is set to player, the only ones that can fire are when trigger is entered by player or when trigger is exited by player. So we want to grab when trigger is entered and we want to send to self. So if I go all the way up and I grab event action, send event to object, it's going to default with self. Self is the object that's holding the current script that we're editing. And we're going to change my event to test one. And we're going to send a string parameter. So I need to go over to values, scroll down to string input, and we're just going to send receive self. We also want to send a reference to the player. So we're going to grab our player and we're going to drop it in new param. And now we need to receive the event. So we're going to go over to events at the top under events when event is received. We're going to change my event to test one. And we got to receive the same parameters that we're sending. So we're sending a string and a player. So we got to create a new param and they do have to be in the same order. So string, we'll call that S. And Another parameter for player, we'll call that P. So in order to make sure this is working, we're going to use a pop-up. So under actions, we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to show simple pop-up for player. The player is going to be the player variable we're sending and the text will be the string we're sending. And we're going to show that for three seconds. And I enter the first trigger, we get a pop-up saying send received self. That just means that our script is working and we were able to send an event to ourself. We're gonna do something similar with this script. However, this script is attached to our sound recorder. It is not attached to our trigger. So in order to get this to work, we need to connect to that trigger. So we're gonna to go to events, we're gonna scroll all the way down and we're going to connect to event. We need a reference to the trigger so we can connect to that object's events. We're gonna call it trigger and we're gonna grab it and we're going to drag it in and we're going to connect to the trigger enter and we're going to call trigger enter. And since we're only connecting to one trigger, we can use the built in trigger event. If we were going to connect to multiple, we would have to create custom events. So we're going to go up to our player events when trigger is entered by player. So essentially what connect is doing, we are going to connect to the object, in this case trigger, and we're going to only connect to its trigger enter event. And we're going to call our trigger enter on this script. So now we can throw in a pop up just to test. We're going to show a pop up for the player. We're just going to send it to the player and we're, we're just going to leave the default text in there just so we can test it. However, we do need to make sure that our trigger object is connected. So we need to open up our trigger, grab our blue pill and drop it in. And I enter the second trigger. We get this pop up saying text. Now we want to send an event from this script to this script. In order to do that, we need to have a reference to the object that's holding a script that we want to send to. So we're going to create another object variable and we'll just call this, since it's a trigger, we'll call it other trigger. Instead of doing the pop-up, we're going to send an event. So we're going to remove the pop-up. We're going to scroll all the way up and we're going to find send event to object and we're going to send our test one. We do need to remove self because we're not sending to the object that's holding this script. We want to send to the object that's holding this script. 
So we can grab our other trigger variable and drop it in. Remember that test one required two parameters. It required a string. So let's go over to values, putting our string input, and we're gonna put in connect send other and we need to send a player variable. So the player that enters this trigger. Now, before we can get this to work, we do need to connect our object variable. So we're gonna open up our sound recorder that's holding our script and we have other trigger and it's empty. We need to open up the object that's holding the script that we wanna send the event to, which is this trigger. And we're gonna grab and drag our blue pill over. So now we can close these. We're gonna enter the second trigger. And now we get connect send other. And that event, is on this trigger. It's the same thing, we're just changing the variables. Now we're going to listen to an object that the script is not attached to. We're gonna open up our third script. This one's called listen. And when the world is started, or anytime you want to start listening to an object, it doesn't have to be on world start. For this script, we will do that. We need to first create a reference to the object we wanna to listen to. Let's call this one trigger. And in order to listen, we need to go to events, scroll all the way down. And where we have connections, we have listen to events. We're gonna grab that, drag that in, and it's asking us for an object. So listen to events from object. And we're gonna grab our trigger object and we're gonna drop that in. Any event that runs on this object, if there is a matching event, it will run on this script as well. So before we get too carried away, we do need to create the event we wanna to listen to. We're going to create a new event. When event is received, and we're gonna call this test2. And we do need a player variable, call it p. However, we do need a pop-up. So we're gonna show a simple pop-up for p, and we're gonna change text to listen. And we're gonna change that to three seconds. None of the other scripts actually have an event called test2. So we're gonna to go to our first script. So we need to create another event. So when the event is received, we're gonna call this one test2. And remember when we created the other one, it required a player variable. So we're going to create a player parameter here. We're gonna call this one p as well. Now when test2 is called, the test2 on the listening script will also be called. So we're going to send test two from test one, and we're going to go to our send event. We're going to just put in test two. We're gonna send the player event. And before we get too carried away, we do need to attach our trigger, and it is this trigger, because this is the trigger that's holding the script that we wanna to listen to. Remember, when test two fires, we should get a pop-up that says listen. And when I enter any of these triggers, really, I get listen. And the reason we didn't get the other pop-up is because the second pop-up overrode the, the first. But if we wanted to get both pop-ups, we can send an event with a delay instead of sending an event right away. We're gonna remove this send event. We're gonna come over to the event actions and we're gonna grab send event with delay. We're gonna send test two to self after three seconds. And we're going to send our player variable. So now we should get the first pop-up and then the second pop-up. We can go into this one. We get our send receive self. And then after three seconds, we get our listen. And if we go over here, we get our connect send other. And after three seconds, we get our listen. If I were to go in here quick and then go in here quick, I'm gonna get listen twice. However, we can cancel the first send with delay by using this code block here, cancel sending with delay. And then we're going to drop it in above our show pop-up, and we're going to cancel sending event test2 to self. Now, and I do this again, I get both pop-ups yet, but I only get the one listen because I canceled the first send. And I can keep doing this over and over and over again because that is still listening. Now, if you want to stop listening after some point, open up our script, and after the first time test two runs, we can stop listening. So connections, stop listening to events, and we just need to grab our trigger. We will only get that listen the first time. We get our listen. Now if I enter one of these triggers, I will not get the listen pop-up because I stopped listening to those events. This might be a little confusing. There's a lot of back and forth. So I'm gonna go over the scripts one more time. Our first script is attached to our trigger. We're not doing when world has started, so we can get rid of that. 
Since the script is on the trigger, it's already listening to that object. So, so we can use when trigger is entered by player. And when that happens, we're going to send test one to self with a string and a player. When test one is received with a string and a player, we're going to cancel sending test two to self. We're going to show a pop up for the player with string for three seconds. And then we're going to send to test two to self after three seconds with P. Now, if this send event was to a different object, we would also have to change the self here to cancel sending it to that same object. When test two is received, we're not doing anything on this script. Now, our second script is attached to our sound recorder and it is referencing this trigger and this trigger. When the world is started, we are connecting this trigger, trigger enter event, to our local trigger enter event. And when our local trigger enter event runs, we're gonna send test one to other trigger with a string and a player. Now this is the other trigger and this trigger is holding this script. So if we were trying to send to an object that was not holding a script, it would not work. It has to be holding a script. Now, if we follow this here, when trigger is entered by player, we're sending test one. Test one is on this script and then test one here runs and we get and we do the cancel sending event we show the pop-up and we send the delayed event our third script is attached to the sound recorder it has a reference to this trigger we're actually not using this trigger at all we could delete it and there's no reason to have it so if i just go like this and delete them it's not going to break anything when the world is started we're going to listen to events from trigger now remember trigger is this object that is holding this script. So we're listening all events on this script. And when this script's test two is called, this test two is called. So let's just follow. When we're all just started, we listen to the trigger. And when test one is called, we are sending test two to self with P. And then when we receive test two on this script, test two on this script runs and we show our pop-up with listen and we stop listening to events from the trigger to prevent this from running again. However, we don't need to have this event in this script. We only need to send the event to self. We don't actually have to receive it on this script because we are receiving it there. That script is just listening for that send event. It does not care about when it is received, just when it is sent. We go in, I hit this trigger here, we get our connect, we get our listen, even though we remove that when event is received from the first script. And if I enter again, we are no longer listening. So after this is done, we should not get that other pop-up. That's all I have for sending, receiving, connecting, and listening to events. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this video, or have any suggestions for a future video, please let me know in the comments section below. If you liked the video or if you learned something, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're notified of all my future videos. And yeah, thanks for watching and have a good one.